Hey guys, welcome to the Animation Movies Recapped. This is David with you. Today I am going to recap an amazing animated movie called A Turtle's Tale 2, Sammy's Escape from Paradise, also known as Sammy's Great Escape. It is a 2012 animated film sequel to A Turtle's Tale, Sammy's Adventures. There are heavy spoilers ahead. Sit back and enjoy the recap. The film opens up on an island where Sammy and Ray are supervising their new grandchildren. Is also shown Ricky hatching on screen, and Rita is the one who names him, impressed by his early courage. Meanwhile, Sammy is helping his granddaughter Ella to get out of the nest. When seagulls arrive, and one of them, John, starts teasing the two elders trying to protect the hatchlings. Suddenly two humans show up and capture the two turtles. To their wives' dismay, both Ricky and Ella get captured too. Together with John and they reunite with their grandfathers in a water tank on the human's boat. Sammy and Ray are really worried to see the newborns on board and try hard to get them out. Even asking the seagull for help, freeing him from the cage and demanding him to safely take the babies back in the water. The plan does not work, but John equally promises that he won't eat baby turtles anymore in his life and flies away. While the turtles sink in despair, John unexpectedly comes back with his flock, pooping all over the boat in order to distract the humans and free the newborns. But again, they don't succeed. In the meantime, Ricky and Ella see a dead fish at the bottom of the tank and they want to get a closer look. When the blobfish suddenly awakes, startling them, he introduces himself as Jimbo and explains to them that they will be taken north in a huge place filled with fish, where he has already been once, and he also says that they will be treated very well, but still admits there are some issues to face. The next day, they finally arrive in Dubai, where the aquarium manager personally inspects the new arrivals finding them okay, and allowing also Lulu, a crazyish lobster Sammy and Ray met on board to enter the aquarium. Being intimidated by the man, Ricky and Ella hide themselves into a bunch of algae at the bottom of the boat. They will later be dumped outside to the seabed by the boat's drainage, while Sammy and Ray become part of the aquatic show prepared for a group of royal kids' birthdays. The two turtles later reunite with Jimbo, who introduces them to Billy. Manuel and Consulo, who are all surprised to see him alive, since they thought him to be dead and gone. Sammy affirms that as soon as they find their grandchildren, they will get away from there. Manuel and Consulo explain to him that it is impossible for everyone to get out. But if they want to try, they have to find and talk to Big D confused. The two elders ask who this Big D is. Not knowing his mores, henchmen are already spying on them and go immediately to report their boss about the newcomers. Big D, a tyrannical seahorse who acts as a leader to the tank's inhabitants, is overjoyed about hearing that a couple of air breathers joined the tank, and goes find them right away, taking Sammy and Ray sightseeing around the aquarium, displaying off his popularity among the other fishes. Other than showing them a tunnel, he ordered the crabs to dig so that he could advertise his heroic image of leader and also allowing them into his private property where they find Lulu entangled in a mat of ropes. The turtles asked Big D to free him and they immediately feel they should entrust that seahorse. Having also witnessed him laughing at a stonefish named Jax who was feeling stressed about the tourists staring at him and torturing his cousin Tremaine other than his general boss attitude. Meanwhile, Ricky and Ella are wandering around when they encounter a baby pink octopus, Annabelle, who conducts them to her mom's, Margaret, who's surprised to hear that they're all alone, and agrees to help the two baby turtles find their granddads. Back at the tank, Lulu is horrified to see two humans eating lobster in the aquarium restaurant. and runs away screaming, while Jimbo tells the story of his first escape attempt, when he played dead in order to get free, 
but something went wrong as the human in charge to throw him away started to phone his wife, making him hungry for oxygen almost at the suffocation point, so that when he was finally thrown in the ocean, the other fishes, who were all waiting to see him free, thought he was surely dead. But in fact, he came back to life as soon as he hit some sea urchins. Sammy and Ray are amazed to hear his story when Big D suddenly asks them to embark on a recognition mission, which Lulu immediately joins. The three venture in the penguins area, climbing on the ice blocks. And at the top, Lulu jumps into the air tube, being deemed as dead by the turtles, who instead fall into the freezing water. Ray gets trapped between two icebergs, and Sammy hardly saves him, also thanks to the penguins' help, who informed them that none of the many Big D's plans has never worked. Then the two quickly sneak back into the water. The penguin family instead keeps tricking the security guard for a while. In the evening, Sammy and Ray storm at the tanks meeting, just in time to hear Big D bragging about his punishment towards Tremay and angrily yell at him for having sent them on a suicide mission, blaming him for Lulu's alleged death and reporting the many dangers they encountered. Frustrated, the seahorse immediately comes up with another plan, which consists of hiding two skate brothers into a rescued dusky dolphin's mouth and waiting for the next morning when the dolphin is going to be freed. Unfortunately, the skate brothers get devoured by two barracudas to the other fish's horror. Big D justifies himself saying that the plan worked anyway, as they escaped as promised, and swims away. Shocked, the turtles ask Manuel and Consulo why the heck humans let the dolphin go, which they answer that this place is too much of small for a dolphin, and explaining the fact that humans sometimes take injured fishes at the tank to treat them, which are then released once healed. Suddenly, all the fishes start to swim to the surface, waiting for food and fighting, contending and arguing about the pieces of nurture to the aquarium client's amusement, and to the turtle's bewilderment, who can't stand to see them acting like crazy just for some human-made junk. They then wonder what could the sense of that place be, ending up with the conclusion that humans just enjoy being collectors. At that moment, an excited Jimbo reaches the turtles, informing the latters that he just saw their grandchildren, Ricky and Ella, outside the tank's glass. Indeed, the two baby turtles finally found the tank, and they came to the rescue with Annabel and Margaret. Sammy and Ray are overjoyed to see them when they spot a couple of barracudas lurking below them. Panicked, the two start to gesticulate to make their grandchildren realize the danger. To Ricky and Ella's confusion, when Albert a hammerhead shark considered a bit crazy by everyone due to the fact that he spends all day heading on the tank's glass intervenes by hitting the glass in front of the two baby turtles, causing them to turn back and finally seeing the barracudas, who start to chase them around the tubes, cables, and drainage system. Ricky and Ella manage to escape throughout the trash manhole and head again towards the tank's glass, waiting for instructions from Sammy and Ray who suggest them to search for the ventilation duct, despite realizing too late that the cooling fans will suck them up. Indeed, Ella gets aspired, and Ricky is trapped by a grid. When a snow crab starts bothering him, luckily Annabel and her mother are still around, and send the crab away into the drainages using their tentacles, and freeing the baby leatherback. Meanwhile, Ella is trapped under one of the tank's ventilation grates. When she sees the same snow crab Annabel and Margaret hid away floating dazed around her, with their black ink all over the body, and she comes up with an idea. Other than managing to get out of the drainage, Ricky, Annabel, and Margaret are really happy to see her alive. And the baby sea turtle explains her plan to get Sammy and Ray out. That consists of calling up a bunch of giant squids and making them pump their ink into the drainage up to the tanks inside. In the meantime, the two elders are desperate to see their grandchildren, and Big D shows up and asks the turtles what's going on with them, causing Sammy to answer abruptly at him. When, to everyone's amazement, a group of giant squids led it by Ricky, Ella, Annabel, and Margaret appears outside the tank, ready to put the plan in action. After many communications issues, Sammy and Ray explain them the last part of the scheme. They'll make everyone in the tank play dead to make humans open the emergency doors 
but Big D isn't really agreeing to their escape plan. Since he's the boss, not Sammy, but no one listens to him. And while the two turtles are exposing to the other fishes the way everyone has to act in order to escape, Big D traps Sammy and tries to kill him with some ropes, saying he has no right to seize his leadership when Ray arrives to defend his lifelong friend. Followed by all the tank's inhabitants, who are enraged to see Big D's true colors, and accuse him to be an assassin, who first sent Lulu on a suicide mission and now wants to intentionally kill Sammy. Blaming him about all the lives he claimed for his so-called escape plans, Big D tries to argue and to stand up for himself. Also mocking Albert, who traps him in his mouth out of fury. He then admits that in fact he has never had the intention to escape. Since out there in the ocean, he's just a puny seahorse. Meanwhile, Sammy and Ray allow the squids to start, and everyone sprinkles themselves with ink. Then playing dead, the humans immediately realize that something is wrong, and the aquarium manager rushes there in dismay. The vets are convinced that the black substance is petrol, and beg him to open the emergency door, which he refuses to do, arguing that he'd be fired. But the crowd attacks him, calling him a fool and a cruel man though he manages to stave them off by offering gratis beverage for everyone. In the meantime, the water is saturated with ink, and many fishes find it difficult to breathe. While Big D keeps teasing them that their plan won't ever work, at a certain point, Jimbo jumps out of the water out of impatience, and the manager throws him among the trash, arousing the vet Sanger, who still don't give up, forcing him to finally open the doors, so that everyone can set out finally free, except for Manuel and Consulo, who choose to stay into the tank, finding it comfortable and romantic, even with Big D annoying them. At the very last, when the aquarium manager starts to close the emergency door, Lulu shows up, turning out to be alive and crazier than ever, and bringing with him also the ice cube where Tremaine was imprisoned. Sammy and Ray reunite with Ricky and Ella, but they realize Jimbo, being out of the water too much time, seems to be dead once again, but they manage to awake him using sea urchins, remembering his story while Marco and Philippe, Big D's henchmen, set out to Venice. Finally, Sammy, Ray, and their family and friends can return to their wives while John informs his flock that they won't eat baby turtles anymore according to the pact. The film ends with Sammy and Shelley kissing on screen.